Brothers chat to a major department store in Sydney. And you might think that we're about to go on the hugest shopping spree. Well, aren't we? No, we're here to see a band, remember? A band? In the department store? Yeah, it's part of a promotion that Coles Meyer have where they invite a band to play in the youth section of the department store. Well, who are we going to see? The Fool. Now, Nicole, there's no need for name calling. No, that's the name of the band. Oh. Well, Haley, the band's playing behind us. Let's go see what people think. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Do you think it's a good idea having a band playing in a department store? Yes, I think it's a very good idea. Do you think it appeals to the younger generation? Um, <laughs> uh, yes, maybe. The music is good and it's loud. Well, personally, I don't like loud music, but I suppose for, for this group, yes, it's fine. You can't hear what, like, everyone's saying and stuff. I think it'll bring more people in here, actually. A lot more young people. So, Dave, I heard that you got this band together. How did it all happen? Well, I, um, as a kid, I knew Johnny. When I was about 15, we did this show together called The Emperor's New Clothes. Yeah. And um, it, it, was, it was a terrible show, but um, Johnny and I became friends. And it was through him that I met Dinesh. And we sort of just started jamming and started playing together. And, um, and, then, and then something happened one day, and, and Paul came along. Um, I, I don't recall. I think I asked Paul to come, and he came. But and then he just sort of started showing up to rehearsals. And um, in fact, I don't remember ever asking Paul to be in the band. <laughs> the typical band player has long hair and doesn't wash very much. <laughs> you don't seem to fill that description. But are you like that on the inside? Oh gosh, no, I, I don't know. I don't <laughs> think so. Um, I work, you see, I have a full-time oh, job, I like right. some of these other people around, <laughs> and I need to look presentable during my um, daylight hours. But um, yeah, you know, I, I cut my hair now and again, and um, it used to be long and unwashed, but I got sick of that, it was a bit too messy for me, but you never know. <laughs> Enjoy enjoyed that, it's good. good. Yeah. Do you think it appealed to, you know, our generation, yes? Yes, yeah. it livens up the store, a bit of atmosphere, it's good. Do you think it's a good idea to have a band playing in a department store? No. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> Being the one with, only one without a car in the band, does that create a problem? <laughs> um, no, I do it on purpose because um, I walk around with a guitar so then people will always like stop in the street and go, who's that guy? <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's it, yeah. Because, like, um, people think that you're someone if you're carrying your own guitar, but if I was anyone, like, famous, they, I probably would get Dave to carry my guitar for me. What do you think of the idea of having a band in a department store? I find it a bit loud, it's hard to talk. Yeah, but I think a lot of um, old people who shop in the store um, kind of get a bit freaked out by it. Hi, do you think it's a good idea having a band playing in a department store? No. Johnny because he has a new name every day and um, and actually can you like digitally do my face so he doesn't know I said that you beat me up he's big do you think it's a good idea having a band playing in a department store <laughs> I don't mind I'm just lost Ha, 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 ha.